Do we interest in costumes? Thank you. Forty k. Yes. Yes. Made yourselves. Do you cosplayers? Yes. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, we do have a card actually. Uh, there's uh, they are quite there. Yeah, there's a group of about six of us here. Oh, really? Okay. So, that's us. Yeah. I've done um, live action role playing and stuff myself. Oh, right. Oh, right. With uh, LRP up um, yeah. Derby. Yeah. So, uh, how are you finding the show? Just get back a little bit because I think I was in. How are you finding the show? Yeah. Really good. Yeah. Nice friendly Very crowd. Busy. Yeah. It's good yes. show and it nice and big. Yeah. So there's six of you in the group at the moment. Uh, we've it's got today we've got six, one of which is our photographer. Okay. And the group at the minute, I think we've got eleven. Oh, eleven. Okay. Group. We've got eleven going to Warhammer Fest in May. Nice. And I think if everyone turns up, we've got about fourteen. All oh, right. Pretty cool. So do you do you take part in other activities apart from going to shows? Not at the moment. No, we've, uh, right. we're quite we do new. have a YouTube channel, we just yeah, it's on basically. Yeah. Oh, good. Excellent, yeah. yeah. No, this is new. This is a new channel. We've been going sort of not very long at all, but we no. decided to branch out, so. Yeah, we've, we've only been going for about two years doing yeah. the play stuff. So. Yeah, okay, cool. This is our first. There's another one? Yeah, another yeah. one. All right. That's, That's our scout. <laughs> okay, excellent. So do you. Are you portraying a particular unit or? Yes, the 601st. Yeah. It's actually come from our role play group. So oh, okay. Play Dark Heresy. Ah, cool. right. Yes. Came across there from there. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. All right, well, enjoy your day. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I'll um, I straight away. Definitely. Yeah, I'll go through. I need about 15, 20 colours, I think. Yeah. I'm like washing and stuff like that. So I'm just going to be like washing something like that. Sorry. China, China and Japanese. Lovely, lovely painting. Not just These are all half the mark price today as well. Lovely miniatures. Sorry? Lovely miniatures. Oh, thank you. Really nice. nice yeah. to say. Thank you very much. There they are. Were they designed for a game or just for...? Just, uh, yeah, just just a painting really. And, painting, and okay. Yeah, the, yeah, the yeah. 135th could go with uh, skirmish games. Yeah. Uh, last days of the zombie apocalypse by yeah. Osprey, for example. I'm thinking of... Of the direction of mood, because I've, I've, I've got a historical miniatures which are which are for painters. Okay. But I, I've got a big range of that. So this yeah. is this is breaking into this market. So this is the amalgamation of a couple of brands that I've brought up, um, and I've got to get a long-term direction for it. And I yeah. am thinking of going into the game inside of it as well. So uh, yeah, I think the thing is with this scale is the price, isn't it? The game inside. Yeah. Yeah, I you think know? if you go 135, the good thing with 135 is yeah. there's loads of vehicles and yeah, motorbikes Tamir, and all that sort of yeah, stuff. Yeah, all that sort of stuff. 135, so it's good. Yeah. However, you are limited then in, in the price of it, whereas yeah. the 30-second figure, you know, for one of those you, you can get two, three, yeah. 30 second, 32 mil yeah. figures. So it's... Oh, they are really nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if you're doing a skirmish game, they're ideal, aren't they? they yes, they are. Yeah, they, they, they're perfect for a skirmish game. These are for more for painters when yeah, you get to yeah, this scale. Yeah. Oh, really good, nice. Thank you. I'll just take one of those. Absolutely, yes, please. I'll send you a link to the video when it's done oh, anyway. It's lovely quite, to do that. Quite because, a new channel. Yeah, so. because, well, the whole purpose of today yeah. is to get the brand out there. Definitely, um, yeah. So well, that's why I like, I like it. I mean, I'm a war gamer of like 30 years, 
or a very eclectic taste. But I've started the channel because I want to kind of, um, I like doing interviews with you and upcoming places and, and businesses yeah. as well. Because it's so hard to get people's names out there. But it's the same with the YouTube channel, you know, it's the same thing. So I'm just trying to appeal to a lot of different... Oh yeah, so you know, if you do people. that, then I'll share it yeah, on so, my Facebook page. And well, I'll be doing a general um, video of the whole show. Yeah. And then I'm going to do a small video on the individual interviews. So there will be little videos as well, so you can put it on your own page. Yeah, great stuff. Yeah, cool. You. All right? Cheers, mate. Is there anything else you wanted to say? You all right? I'm not shy now. I'd love to. <laughs> They're all based on my friends. They're all based on your friends? Yes, yeah. All based on you have some friends. interesting friends then. Thank you. <laughs> now they're excellent. Are they designed for a certain game? Or? They are for a game called Wild in the Streets. Wild That's the entire rules the to the game. Is it really? Fits on a postcard. That is actually, could be yeah. a postcard, couldn't it? Yeah. So that's, yeah, it's a it's a skirmish uh, gang based game. Okay. Uh, gang skirmish based game. Yeah. Um, it's you, you pick a gang and you fight against the other gangs. Okay. Uh, scenario based, so. It's not it reminds me a little bit of the old uh, warriors and stuff. Kind of, yeah, 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 yeah. But instead of being like made up gangs, it's yeah, like yeah. real things like there's goths, uh, yeah. punks, skinheads. Uh, roller derby girls, yeah. things like that. Yeah. So who actually sculpted these? Was it yourself? No, no. It's a, it's a few different sculptors. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. There's, there's a few different sculptors who did, who did the, uh, the different uh, Great games. Stuff. Yeah. So if you were to start off in this game, what are you looking at to get yourself going? Uh, let's see. In in pounds. Sorry, because I'm from the US. So that's all right. The music, the, the, the money confuses me. Um, just say about, it's just say in dollars. Just, uh, it's, it's about uh, forty pounds just to get started. Oh, okay. That's yeah. not bad. Yeah, yeah. cool. Because that'll get you two gangs. Yeah. But the this game really opens up when you have multiple players. Yeah. At home, we play with like six people at a time. Right. Because it's it's fun to yell. And they make each loose other. alliances and stuff and backstab yeah, yeah, each like, other. Yeah, tem and, yeah, temporary yeah. alliances and yeah, and it's it's a it's it uses cards. All the yeah. stats for uh, all the gangs are on cards. You shuffle them together okay. and you flip them over. And as that card flips over, that thing activates. Okay. So like, oh, I flipped over the um, uh, the, the Samson card. Then yeah. Samson activates, does this stuff. And you flip over the next one, it could be in a different gang. Brilliant. And that's what makes it fun when you have like six people playing. Yeah. Because you're like, oh, so it's gonna be my guy. Like you, you're you're making plans. Like, okay, I'm gonna go get those guys. But like, oh, I you know my card didn't come up in time yeah. and they ran away, so I couldn't do anything. Excellent. Yeah. That sounds very good. Thank you. How's it going? Uh, good, good. We uh, this is our our first time at Salute. It, officially, we came last year and just yeah. borrowed some space from someone. Um, but the game is doing well. We've got a lot of uh, players in the U.S. We're starting to get more players here. Excellent. Um, yeah. Brilliant. All right. Thanks for that. Thank you. Hello, all right? So how are you enjoying the show? It's good. It's a very impressive outfit you got there. Yeah. Hey, oh. oh, it's impressive, isn't it? Yeah, it's good. Just stand next to it so I have a look at the scale. I'll get a scale, don't I? Yeah, that's amazing. Hey, Brilliant. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> That's it, though. I did one of those. Cheers, Did you make this? Yeah. Yeah, how long did it take you? Sorry, you don't speak English. Oh, you don't speak much English, yeah. Make your phone. Okay, no worries. Cheers, thank you. Hello. Hi, you okay? Hello. Hi. Uh, I take it your cosplay? Yeah. Or cosplay. unit, or? Yeah, cosplay. Is that what you do, cosplay? Yeah. So do you actually meet up and do activities, or? Yeah, we do other conventions. Oh, okay. And, uh, so you're doing, you're coming back and doing the one at the end of. No, actually, we are we're oh, from okay. Belgium. Oh, okay. So it's the only convention we do in England, and all the rest okay. is in uh, Belgium and the other countries. Are cool, yeah, the outfits are very impressive. Like, they but look they good. are from Midway, so you will see them probably. Yeah, yeah, we're only in Kent. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool, yeah. So you're obviously Imperial Guard unit. Yes. And so, are you? Do you take part in events, or is it just show? Um, we've done Warhammer Fest for Games Workshop. Yeah. And we do Comic Con here in London in October. Comic Con, in yeah. May. Brilliant. Yeah. Excellent. Well, you look very impressive. Anyway, it's good. Thank you very much. So you can make this, make this yourself. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, most cosplayers make all that stuff. Oh, yeah, because yeah. 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 you yeah. can't get it nowhere, can you? Yeah. No. Not in any yeah. way. I'm just saying, both are very impressive. So. Brilliant. How long does it take to make, make your stuff? Huh? For you. 
beam only is 160 hours. Wow. In eight months. Not in, one, not in one go, over, over a period of time. Yeah, over a period. <laughs> so, I suppose it starts with a few nights, so shouldn't it? Some stay uh, two hours and then all the yeah. way six or eight months. Oh, wow. Yeah. So we're yeah. motivated for six yeah. months. Well, that's a hammer. That's a statement, isn't it? <laughs> Very good. That was really quite important. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how many people do you have in your unit at the moment? Twelve. Twelve? Twelve. Yeah. Okay, cool. Twelve of us. And in the Sanctuary side, and in Inquisitor, yeah. and a living saint. Excellent. Uh, so we, so do, we do gaming, we do 10 man squads, so that's, yeah, that's, that's right. exactly right, yeah. isn't it, really? So, we're at the university, so, so do you have like a, a website or a. Uh, we do. We've got a Facebook group. Say? Facebook group. You've got a Facebook group. Yeah. And what's your unit called? Uh, 601st. 601st. Oh, we met some of your guys over there earlier walking yeah. around. Probably. 601st, yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. Alright, well, thanks, guys. Brilliant. Well, Cheers. Thank you very much. Enjoy yourselves. Cheers. Some more members of the 601st. There's an officer of the 601st. Hello, sir. I'm indeed. 601st. So you're based in Kent? Apparently. Yes. You are. I've just yes. been speaking to others. Yes. I saw this yes. lady earlier. <laughs> so, yeah, excellent. Well, um, I'll send you the link to the video. Oh, fantastic. Thank, Thank you very much. Yeah, cool. I just met the big fella. Yeah. yeah. The, the biggest guy isn't ours, but the rest of them are ours. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We will take him oh, home yeah. with us, though. He's okay. useful to have on your side, I think. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Cheers, mate. So bad. A couple of megs of guys. Well, specifically energy. Is it me gonna get in your graphics to attack? Is this yours? I'm happy to have a done it. What's the actual idea behind it? Um so Main, it's sort of a fancy whimsical game. Okay. Um, in the middle of the night, the beanstones grow up out of the ground. Okay. And they're highly valuable to the um, wizards. Yeah. So in the middle of the night, when these things grow up, the alarm goes off and it melts out of the house. Uh, sure, yeah. And the faction team to try and grab as many moonstones as possible. Okay. Uh, and apart from generally rolling the dice and chucking the dice on the board there, yeah. well, that's the initiative, there's no more dice rolling. Oh, right, okay. so, that's interesting. That's all done round either arcane, so yeah. we've got the arcane cards, which there's a limited number in each of the decks, Okay. and you will have a certain amount in your hands, yeah. you put down, say, to three and three. Yeah. The other person can then call your bluff. If they actually call you, then you flip it over, I was wrong, but they can then change the card. If I'm right, I get to play another card in my hand and try doing it again. Okay. Or they can go, well, you know what, I just push my luck, let you have that. So there's a good bit of bluffing and yeah. how do you think you yeah. go. And then we've also got combat cards, which allow you to um, play the card. So you play this and then you look what the opponent's played. And it will give you how much damage you will deal to them, okay. how much you receive back. Yeah. And whether there's any chance of you being able to do an extra attack back on them for a retaliation. Okay. So these are all sort of based off of proper... Um, combat stances and everything else, so six different standards. Uh, so who, who designed the game? Just uh, step back for you a little bit. So, so it's um, Tom over there on the actual Moonstone stand. Okay. It's Actually, his, yeah, I've just, I've just been past that stand, that's what I saw yeah. it, yeah. So it's his little baby. So this is the demo, demo game for that stand? Yeah, that's right. over there. So I came along last year and yeah. played the demo on the, uh, on the smaller board. Yeah. Fell in love with the game, and so I said to the guys, yeah, I'll Brilliant. put up this year for it. It's absolutely fantastic. Yeah. We've got the new Kickstarter yeah. for the third faction coming out. Okay. Uh, that's already running. Uh, it's already completely fulfilled. Yeah. So we've only got a small bit left to go, I think, for our last uh, stretch goal. And, um, yeah, so it was possible to have all, all the new stuff out for that. Excellent. Uh, and it's just an amazingly fun game that doesn't Sounds take itself good. too seriously. That's Moonstone. It's Moonstone. All right, brilliant. brilliant. All right, thanks for that. Cheers. Impressive, isn't it? It's superb, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, Necromunda's a great game. What are we mainly doing with bastards? <laughs> he knows you, does he? Must be my relation. Yeah. That's a uh, Necromunda. Yeah, Necromunda's a game. It's been out a while. It's a good game. No, he pointed out the tape, and then he went, and then look at that, and I was like, I thought that was a bit of trouble. Like, the boy was just like a tiny little stone. It's actually I looked at it, saw the little guy, and I thought, I said, let me get the space break, the space break, the space break. Yeah. So, I've got a touch on it. I picked it up and looked at it. No, it's not. That's actually a 
I do remember that, Andy, but I don't think that's him. Half the life. Anvil industry is really good. They do some really nice stuff, um, especially for like the fine. This is really fine work here. Straight into Decremunda, that's about. Cracking miniatures from Anvil Industries. Great company. Say again. I I have, but if you want to explain who Anvil Miniatures are. Yeah, so Anvil Industry it's actually led by uh, Charlie who's here and then yep. uh, uh, John, the six hundred and first. Yeah, and then uh, I'm actually just a, a loving girlfriend. Yeah. But yeah, so today what they've got is they've got um, characters. We have had bits bags. Yeah. And then we're we'll showing off the lovely new Kickstarter, which is going to be filling in Okay, what's the new Kickstarter? Yeah, so it's been the, so um, if you want loads more detail, but it's yeah. basically lots of new female miniatures. Um, but yeah, it's been a whole Kickstarter, went really, really well. So it's gone well, yeah. yeah. So we're just going to be filling it for the Kickstarter backers and then proper like retailing the autumn. Brilliant. What's that? It's a figure. Box of figures, isn't it? Yeah, I'm going to ask you to sit around and have a look at the plastic inside. One minute. All right. And I've been very careful how I said that. <laughs> Especially as it's on camera. <laughs> it, it often gets called that anyway, so. Far worse. Yeah. Yeah, but the way they could they're be nice, kids about. They're nice figures, aren't they? The heads. Oh, yeah, they're nice. So, they're they actually tags. Yeah, they 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 what are these price at, mate? Uh, these are on 20. Yep. All right. The remaining wizards, wizard, <laughs> that is it, 15, and then the gnolls and the snake men, 22. Oh, okay. They're nice, aren't they? Nice figures, aren't they? They'll yeah. suit you down the ground, really. Yeah. So, it's four standard springs. Further, do it lightly like you were, but through there. Right, come back a bit further, open up a bit more, there you go. That's it. Oh, yeah, that's you get it. But I mean, you, you've only, you only had it for in your hand for 30 seconds when you're already doing little lines and, you know. <laughs> this is a hole that's next to nothing, but it'll break in two minutes. Yeah. And it won't, yeah. Often they don't even work out the box. Um, so people are like, oh, I'll buy a cheap one to try it. It's like, no, you won't. It'll break and you'll give up. Right. Oh, which is what I nearly did. I, I started with a cheap one, the compressor burnt out after two weeks, just made a burning smell and turned off and never worked again. And it, so it nearly put me off it brushing all together. And I thought, I'll give it one more last go, and it went on a class, and they were using decent. Oh, Andy, we've got our first, which is just saying, take four minutes, and pack up and get your bags and get your bags the standard has been set, the gauntlet's been thrown down. It's finished already. You've been emasculated, sir. And uh, the lady has just said, I don't need these four minutes. I don't, I don't have to make it, sir. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't even make it light-hearted statement anymore.
60 seconds left. When I blow my whistle and push this down, there will be no cheating. You have 30 seconds. Feel flash with victory. Absolutely. Yeah, uh, right, riding this until next year. Yeah, brilliant. All right, mate. Oh, yeah, look, it is, but it's like a fantasy one. Yeah. 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 Wow. yeah, amazing. Isn't it? All about the bases. Jeff Wood is evil chaps. Why for those chaps? Is it weird? Very nice, yeah. well done. <laughs> They're nice figures. Yeah. Well, didn't they? Yeah, they're smart figures. There is. Oh, is this a gaming system? It is, yeah. It is. So the whole thing is a, a game as well as. Yep. Okay, yeah. cool. So, so skirmish wanna... level, five to nine models, okay. so small base, played on a two by two board. The guys running demos over there if you want to oh, see how it played out. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right, brilliant. Yeah. yeah, nice. How much will it cost to sort of set yourself up in it? Um, so each player needs a starter set, well, or a section yeah. model. So the starter sets we currently have are 35 rice, the full game's at 50 rice, okay. the starter sets are 29.95, so 30 bucks. Uh, obviously, each player would need one. The rules yeah. are a free download. Standard D6, oh, cool. yeah. yeah, it's just standard that's, that's D6. Good, yeah. So, yeah, so basically, 30 bucks a player, you'd be at an oh, introductory nice. level. And, like I said, it's true skirmish, so adding one or two models onto that starter set gives you a and full how long game. would it take you to play through a game? If you know the rules, about an hour and 20 minutes, something like that, start okay. to finish, it's always scenario so club driven. Night type stuff, yeah, yeah, exactly. Fine, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's uh, scenario driven as well, so it's not yeah. just hack and slash, you're always trying to achieve something, oh, okay. you know, whether cool. you're trying to assassinate a particular model, yeah. or escort a model, or control an area, whatever the case may be. All right, brilliant, thank cool. you. No Bushido? So, yeah, Is this Bushido? Bushido? So, yep, yeah, so he's now exhausted, but he's reloaded. So you've got your one guy left. So you might as well take the exhaust markers off. <coughs> Everybody gains an additional point of key. Club 1983, it's back in our days, mate. Dragon. 
exciting and the bugs move around when they set up. And it gives you a sense of hope. It gives you a reason for you to get to the middle of the world. It's just a normal ball player game with two people playing two people. It works really well. I don't get it. So I, I just love playing with the bugs and the critters. So you end up with very random high school dinosaurs. Is this the gaming system on its own? Yeah. It is. So it's got its own, it's got its own game behind it. Yeah. Okay. What's it based on? It's completely made up. You? Hi. So this is a full gaming system. Yes. You've done figures and stuff. It's a. I've been working on it for about 20 years now. Oh, nice. I've been just designing the world, yeah. and then I taught myself to sculpt so I could create the creatures. Oh, excellent. They are um, good figures. And then over the years, I just keep adding a few yeah. little extra ones to it. Yeah. So nice. It's, so what's the idea of the game? Um, the, well, the, the game itself is very skirmish, small skirmish based. Um, it's just seemed the most natural thing for it so that you can have uh, like the Fubani, who are the main ones, yeah. trying to get their um, caravan of goods home yeah. with the Divanu hunting them, and the Divanu are these kind of big predatory creatures. Um, and the setting itself is very, I think, looking back at it, Brian Frood was a huge yeah. sort of that yeah. style. Yeah. yeah, you can see um, that style. Probably there. reading all the Dinotopia books as a kid, yeah. looking back at them now, I go, ah, that's where I kind of, <laughs> that's the inspiration. So it's all the various things okay. that I've enjoyed. But turned into something that's just Twilight. It's yeah. kind of what yeah. I, so it doesn't it's not trying to be anything else, it's just its own. Its own thing, its own entity. Yeah. Excellent. How much would it cost you to get set up in a, as a basic game? And easy we do starter forces, okay. starter games. Yeah. Um, so you could do a set for say seventy quid, which comes with a force of your choice. Yeah. And and a opposing Divanu forces a bit smaller, or ninety quid gets you the full starting set. Okay. With Brilliant. two forces of your choice. Brilliant. All right, excellent. Thanks for that. Cheers. Thank you. Very good. 
They all your own design or? Uh, well, basically it all comes out of my head and I wow. tell an artist to You've got a strange do this. head. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you could say that. <laughs> so, um, are they, they're obviously designed for painters and stuff in mind? Uh, no, no, basically this is all about our game, Darklands. Okay, so it's got its own, it's it's got its own, own game. game system. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay yeah. So we've got a bit of information about the game setting yep. and the game itself. Okay, brilliant. Uh, basically set in the Dark Ages of Britain, 650 yep. AD. Okay. And so you've got all the different uh, factions that were there. So you've got the, the Picts, yep. the Angles, yep. the Welsh, the Irish, the Fomorians. So it's all sort of fantasy. Though. So these are like the gods of those? Not quite, no, because I always think that if you if you bring gods into a game, uh, yeah. what do they look at? So I don't know what you're saying, the myth of those. <laughs> effectively, yeah, yeah the gods yeah. do, you know, they're still there, but yeah. there's no representation on the battlefield. Right, I know, no, that's fair enough. Yeah, so basically, similar stuff. Uh, yeah, so uh, basically, it's uh, it's all about Dark Ages, you know, fantasy. Yeah, like. cool, very there's, incredible. There's real historical figures in there as well. Okay. So we've got people like Penn there and Ken and. So, is it one on one or? Uh, basically, it's. Um, because yeah, infantry as well, you see. Oh, lots I see. Of, lots of, if you look at the cabinets over there. So these are the big bad guys that go with infantry. These are the big bad guys that draw I'm people's attention. So how much would it cost to sort of set yourself up in something like this? Well, a host to get you going yeah. uh, is about 90, 80, 80 quid, something like that. Okay. And that will basically give you enough to start you off. Yeah. And then you can sort of build from there. Oh, okay. So, and you can go as big as you want, obviously, right. as well. So is it skirmish based or? It can be anything you want, it can be skirmish, it can be bigger, it can be a big battle, depends on how much time Brilliant. you've got. Yeah, really. sounds That's really it. good. Yeah. That's fantastic. So we've got a set of rules as well, yeah. so yeah. a catalogue. And the game's called? Uh, Darklands. Darklands, alright, oh, nice. Alright, brilliant. No problem. Yeah, amazing, amazing miniatures. I'll, um, I'll send you the link to the, to the video. Uh, oh, okay. Mate. Was that was I on video? <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. I try not to do it so people don't know. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Feel free to pick them up, guys. Don't be shy. Are they, they just resin? Yeah, resin. Yeah. Incredible. So are any of them based on actual historical? Absolutely. They are. Yeah, I've got some uh, based on historical kings and queens and whatnot from, uh, from back then, the Dark Ages. Obviously all the myths as well, all the myths and legends. Yeah. So the Welsh have got dragons, uh, I've got evil Romans, yeah. uh, Byzanti, yeah. uh, I've got the Norse, uh, Vikings, uh, you know, griffins and trolls and yeah. all that kind of thing. So, so it's all based on historical myths? Yeah, basically. Brilliant. Yeah. Historical figures as well, language as well. Yeah, fantastic. You must get a lot of people use these for painting competitions, I would have thought. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'll be honest with you, you know, people use them for all sorts of yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. That's great. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, they're So this is a gaming system with its own miniatures and designed by? Uh, by us. By so you. we are Spiral Arms Studios, yep. this game's called Maelstrom's Edge. Okay. And so about four years ago we launched a Kickstarter for our box set yep. uh, with the starting two factions which are the corporation of the Empyrean Foundation with their yep. robots and the, the Karist Enclave with their angel right. alien friends. And now we've got our, our third faction is the Horde uh, Mad Max style Rebels of okay. the Broken. And then today we've just launched for the first time the, Re the Arturian Remnant, which are these super suits, okay. uh, where you might only have eight of them on a the side. Yeah. Um, and it's a squad based skirmish game um, where you might have 25 models or so on a side. Yeah. 
um, and it's alternating activation of units, so it's very dynamic. Um, the scoring is done turn by turn rather than the end, so yeah. you can have some sort of instant wins if you achieve a lot during the turn. Uh, and then we've got, we've got fiction, so we've got two short story collections, two novels. Cool, excellent. Um, they're all on absolutely. So you've actually got a bit of fluff there and all yeah, that as yeah. well. So we've got a whole universe that we've created as well. Nice. Um, and uh, you know we did this all online, so yeah. we, we all met online. I actually bought some of the uh, spider drones. Um, well, I think it was about two years ago, I think. Yeah. I used them in a different yeah. game. I sure. used an alternative version of 40k. Yeah. 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 I don't use 40k rules, I use my own rules. And uh, yeah, lovely models. Yeah, I mean, we're really yeah. proud of what we created. Um, and uh, so we're kind of, now we've got four factions. Yeah. We've actually all come from around the world to yeah, this, this week to uh, start working on version two of the, the rule book. Excellent. So how's it been going? Well, yeah. yeah. Um, we're really, you know, we're really happy with people are getting really interested in it. Yeah, it's great. Um, you just so need that, you know, that rolling to code, don't you? you? You have to get to a certain volume of, yeah, of that's right. product yeah. um, for people to really get invested. Yeah. Um, and now we're at that point. So, Good. you know, next year we're going to have a, a hardback rule book with version two of the rules. Yeah. And all four factions, probably a fifth as well. Nice. Um, and really start to expand out um, the offering. Yeah. Good, well done. Have you got Hello. Sir. All right. Water to damage it. So it's under your heel and on the floor. Okay. And there's no save for hand to hand. So it's just hand to hand. go 40. Filming up your nose then. <laughs> oh, Hassle Free are great. They do like heads and stuff. I've used their stuff for my female pagans. These are the heads I use. Oh. Good when they make you itch. You've seen those stuff around there. I've got some of those. I bought them last year. Which ones? Where
So what what is the range? Um, I didn't know. That. I don't understand. Sorry. Oh, okay, mate. No the problem. Range, yeah. You mean? Yeah. What, what, is there? Is it based on its own game, or is it just for people to paint? Uh, no, no, no. My father scoop all of this. Yeah. And sell it to you to get painted. Yes. Uh, the minis, yes. and yes. also you can use it as well in your own games. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Okay. They're if, lovely. If it uh, does put right. Yeah. Incredible. Thank you for my father. Yeah. Awesome. So, is this the kit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the 3D prints. Right, got you. So you get two separate heads. Uh, and obviously, it's very many pieces. It's mostly monopose. How much is he? He's doing. He's monopose, apart from the arms, which can up and down him a little bit. So, what was the idea of you getting him? I only wanted done for myself. Yeah. I like gaming and I like doing my own storylines. Yeah. So, yeah, I thought, cool. well, Four Drivers is not going to do what I want. No. So, I'll no. do it myself. And I had it all done, and then. My mates, well, you've got this far. Yeah. You've had the first couple of cars done. Yeah. You've got the moulds. Yeah. Do 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 some do some more. So I had a um, ninety done in here, and that's all I'm ever going to have. Ever and how are you? How are they going? I've sold fifteen. That's not bad. Yeah. yeah I yeah. mean, the thing is, it's getting it's getting out there. Yeah. It's getting known a bit. Yeah. Most people have seen it. Really like it. Yeah. So is this available online? Uh, not at the moment. It it's not available online. online. Is that something you could really try yeah. and do if you could? I just wanted to try and sell them in person because you know, yeah. I didn't want to go through all the faff of paying going on yeah. eBay or any of that stuff. Because what I find is that um, I, st I started I, I started making like um, power loaders, yeah, yeah. a bit like the Alien one. Okay, yeah, yeah. And I 3D printed them and I, I sell, I, trying to sell them was hard, but selling them online, Did you, you find, find people playing right? Necromunda and stuff like that. Oh, okay. Because it's so unusual. Like, oh yeah, I'll get one of them. Because at a show, people tend to come with a, a bit of a list of what they want, don't yeah, they? Yeah, that's it. But yeah. um, So you're here with the t-shirts and stuff, and they, yeah. Oh, cool, excellent. No, that is stunning, mate. Absolutely stunning. So, I mean, so you're not, it's not available online. Can people write to you, or...? Uh, um, well, I'm on Instagram. Let's just... Can I see a look at that? 
So if they contacted you on that then, you might be able to sort something out. Yeah. I mean, I've had people interested and they said, oh, people that couldn't make it to the show, they've seen it online, I said, yeah. if I've got any left, which I have, I've yeah. got loads left, <laughs> I'll probably make it, I've got to make it available because I need yeah. it to make me money yeah, back. Yeah, no, that's fair enough. Because I, I thought, people said, why don't you go Kickstarter? I went, no, because if it goes tits up, yeah. you're taking a load of people's money. <laughs> that's right, yeah. And they don't yeah. get anything, so I thought, the, well, the I thing is, Kickstarter's good, but there's so many Kickstarters Yeah, that's now. it, and I thought, you know. I thought, I had the money to do it, Yeah. and I thought, if nothing ever comes of it, then I've at least I've got my own mini. Yeah. <laughs> that guarantees won't turn into a bumbling idiot. No, that's uh, all right. Uh, yeah. So basically, one three hundred. Uh, one two hundred eighty fifth. So one, yeah, okay. It's GHQ scale. Right. Six millimeter. So okay, Normandy good. terrain. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. Um, what's the available May nineteenth and stuff about? Okay, so presently these are pre-production examples. Okay. Um, they're not the actual resin casts. Uh, Salute this year was probably about a month too early for me. Okay. And uh, but so yeah, so available in resin. So this is a new range. It is. It's a new company. So oh, new been, company. Yeah, oh, good luck. This, good luck. Thank you. Nice to support the uh, wargaming company. I've been doing this for. Uh, been thinking about it for the last kind of three months or so, but yeah. it's, it's kind of the last kind of month from the lead up to this. It's really kind of. Excellent. So you you sculpt them all? Yes. Yeah. All um, all three D. 3D models and yep. then printed out in um, on a 3D printer. Yeah, PLA? Uh, um, SLA. SLA, okay. Yeah. What's uh, the uh, benefit of using SLA over PLA? Is it just final or? Uh, I'm not exactly. The acronyms, I'm not entirely sure oh, okay. on the differences. Yeah, no problem. Um, then what I do is I take, I'll, uh, I'll take the, the, the models off the printer, yep. add some additional detail to them, so yep. like render or what have you, um, and then they're cast up in polyurethane resin okay. uh, for the actual final retail model. And what sort of prices are you talking about? Um, between the, the models that you see here are between four fifty and eight pounds. Oh, that's quite reasonable. Um, isn't it? Yeah. So. So will you be doing sort of? Um, do you do like sort of town sets? And... Yeah. So uh, the the plan is at the moment I've got the, the full set is available as a, yeah. as a bundle. Um, we might split that down into kind of like a, a farmyard set. Yeah. So a couple of barns, farmhouse, that type of thing. Um, we've had some ideas today from various people with respect to chateaus and things that they've okay. wanted to see. Yeah. So um, this is very much the, the starting kind of lineup. Uh, I've got a few more models to add to it. Then we're going to do damaged and destroyed versions. Yep. Um, so you actually be able to, if you wanted to, you, can you could remove the through, model, remove them, and change yeah, nice. it, or you know completely start off with a trash village yep. entirely, whatever you wanted to do. Uh, and then after that, we're moving. We're going to do what I'm going to do. Uh, Cold War, so same oh, scale, right. okay. but uh, Cold yeah. War gone hot, so you know, 60s through to 80s buildings. Nice, yeah. Uh, well, it's still, um, still quite a uh, large uh, figure range for that, isn't there, as well? People yeah, are really yeah. interested in that yeah. it's, it, uh, yes. uh, One of the guys from the club is twisting my arm for it. He's like, Richard, yeah, what are you yeah. going to do this? Don't do Normandy, do... do uh, but I mean, Normandy's probably a bigger catchment for you, isn't it? I'm not, I'm not, to be honest, I started with Normandy because it's an area I'm familiar with. I've oh, got okay. a friend who... Uh, I'm from Jersey, so it's right. just across water. Okay. And I've got a mate who's got a, a b and in there, right. and I helped him years ago right. convert it from a barn. So actually, this building here, this is this is his barn. Oh, is it? Um, so, so your mate will recognise this, will he? Yeah, he will. <laughs> yeah, he's already, um, he's already seen it and, and likes it. Cool. So yeah, Normandy I started with because it's, it's familiar, I know yeah. it. And uh, yeah, so and it, it was an itch I wanted to scratch. And yeah. I wanted these buildings, I couldn't find them. Yeah. So so I made them. Excellent. And hopefully some other people will like them as well. Yeah, no, it's really good. Well, it looks like you certainly uh, started, started on the right foot anyway. Would you be going on to do other periods or anything? Yes. Like? Yeah. I mean, I've so the, the definites now are Normandy, yeah, Cold War, yeah, and then after that, I've had I've been talking to people about maybe doing earlier. So kind of stuff the Napoleonics and what have yeah. you, um, or then even right up to ultra modern kind of oh, cool, stuff. Yeah. So yeah. Um, and I'm very much playing it by ear. You know? Yeah. You know, yeah. I, it's a combination of what people want and then also it has to interest me as well. Of course, yeah, um, yeah. Well, I mean, all businesses based on interest are like that. Yeah. If you do anything you don't enjoy, it's, it's no good. So, yeah, that's, Excellent. that's where we are. Oh, good luck with it anyway. Thank you very much. So, what have you thought about the show? Yeah, very good. Um, very good in as much as demonstration games are really good. Uh, availability of most stuff that you would like to think you'd find. I'll put you cord in a minute. Hello. Oh, you're not recording now? I want to smoke, I promise. I agree. I am. You are? Yeah. I just want to make you look silly on the camera. Okay. So, 
So, back on the train, going home. What did you think about it? Do you know, I thought it was absolutely excellent. Everything today was really, really good. The, when we went in there, everything visually, because I haven't been to a show like that for a long, long time. Yeah. So, you, know, you say to yourself, you know, okay, the expectations a little bit high, you know, so looking, thinking it might get disappointed. But everything was set out really well. You know, bear in mind we had a sort of guide, which was quite useful. Yeah. Anyway, because that's good. That's from um, so we can tell, so we obviously set that out really yeah. well. But the fact is, when we went in, we were just picking out little things we were looking for, getting the details, getting the information. The traders were excellent. Excuse it was really, me. really good. Sorry, which stop is it for South and the Seaside? Uh, South one. and Central. Yeah. Yeah, it's already next one. Okay, out South and Central, then when you get out the That's station, all right, don't worry. turn right and just follow it all the way down the high street and the beach at the end. Okay, all right? No worries.